What do you think of all this rain, Griff? I don't like it. So I've wanted to make this video for a while now, but uh, I'm on holiday now, and as you do during the holiday, you finally reconnect with some of those old passions and hobbies that you are. Uh, kind of forget during semester time, during periods of hectic work. And so today's video is centered around one central theme about how to take good photographs, and that is to simply take a lot of them. So in a world of Instagram and retouching and the competitive landscape that is photography and the photography economy, really, um, it can be really hard to get out there and take good photos compared to other people and compared to other people's photoshopped masterpieces and that just going around the garden here taking photos and that of the trees and that and how the rain has just made everything so pretty uh, just been thinking a lot about how the best photographs that I've taken are always after 300 dud photographs when I go on holiday you know you take 400 photographs because you're excited about the new landscape and because you want to capture the moments and that but then you pick three or four at the end of your trip that you really use uh, to show people like how your trip was and to give them a summary you don't show them the 400 photographs. And so I think as someone who's taken lots of photographs in the past and that, uh, and it really is passionate about photography, I think the best way to take great photographs is to just take hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of photographs every day, even if you're looking for a particularly great shot. Um, you know, because different angles, different um, ideas, different subject matter, all these things combine with enough time and enough effort into one or two singularly great shots. Like I've been walking around my garden now for half an hour and I've taken easily over 50 photos. Um, but I'm probably only going to put one or maybe two of these on Instagram. And so I just think it's really interesting, you know, we're all judging ourselves constantly for um, not taking good photographs. But as any professional photographer will tell you, um, they take thousands of photographs only to choose three or four. And it's strange, actually, because I think this philosophy could actually be applied to large parts of our life. In particular, um, working and studying at varsity, you know, you just plug away at problems and at exercises and at homework until you understand stuff. Difficult maths and difficult concepts, you read and read and read and ask for things to be explained until they eventually sink in with work and uh, finding your passion and making enough money. You know, you just carry on and carry on and carry on. And then eventually, you know, you're earning a half-decent salary, you're spending wisely and that, and your life kind of comes together. My mom told me a while ago when I asked her, like, I don't know, I told her I don't know what to do with my life. Everyone keeps on asking me at Varsity, you know, what are you going to do? You know, what are you going to study? What do you want to work in? And I tell them, you know, maybe the tech sector, but I really have no idea. And she said, that's fine. I mean, uh, my mom's a teacher and she uh, still doesn't, she still, sometimes she still isn't sure if she made the right choice. And I guess we never really will... Um, know if you've made the right choice how to spend your life and that but by you know, living each day and continuously taking photographs and creating memories and living each day you uh, create the some parts and the best moments of what you call your life and I just think it's really interesting and now that I'm on holiday and have time to be all deep and philosophical it's just nice to, to think about it and then it inevitably comes to that point where you start saying oh well you know I don't have a good camera and that I don't have a phone and that but as an old photography mentor of mine always used to say, the best camera in the world is the one that you have with you. Because all the other ones, they don't matter. If you're in a place where you want to take a photograph and you only have a shitty compact camera, um, that's the best camera in the world right then because it's the only one that's there to capture that moment. And there's no excuse nowadays with phones and that to not be able to take great photos and that. Um, and just really enjoying walking around the garden here, you know, taking photos of things I haven't spent a lot of time on in a while. And so yeah, that's the end of this video and my motivation to you today is if you want to go take great photos and that and you've been meaning to step up your Instagram game or whatever as I have for ages now, go out and do it. Take half an hour out of your day and just go photograph the weird, strange things around you. You never know what awesome things that you might find like I found today. Anyway, thanks for watching this really different video and I'll see you later. Think? Are you miserable? Oh, it's so cold and rainy. Please make it stop.